gonna make the profiles boom. Boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. What the years? I'm gonna tell you exactly what it is today on Gunner's Profiles. What it is is real life, real talk by a real one who really did it. I've really been gone for a while, but I'm really back. How about that shit, right? What it isn't is out of preservatives. No fakery, no mockery, no bullshittery. Word of the day, bullshittery. I just made it up. Run with it, I said. Just run with it. Fuck it, it feels good, right? Anyways, if you can tell by that thumbnail right there, mm -hmm, it's finally my turn to rock the mic, right? So let's get, 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 I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it, Spencer, I got it, I got this. Let me, let me hold, let me hold this down, right? Um, ese bozo. First and foremost, um, respects. I've always respected this guy. I like his music. I respect his intelligence. I believe that this is a very intelligent individual. Um, I was gone for a while. And when I came back, he's the talk of the town. He's the word on the curb. He's the, uh, he's buzzing, cousin. Um, I guess, put a foot in his mouth, right? It's what people are saying. Or did he? One never knows does one. Um, so I sat down and I listened to the American Controller podcast that had Bozo. And I know he frequents that podcast a lot. And, and they're good friends, good camaradas. And righteous. You know, that's very righteous, you know. Um, some people just hit it off. Some people, man, tend to to fuck with each other. It's like me and Rojo, me and Dubs, man. Uh, me and certain individuals. You know, we're just we're just close. We're just cool. It's just It just be like that sometimes, man. You see that spark. There's something that about that individual. It's like, you know, that's the homeboy. And I'm going to rock with them right, right or wrong. Fuck it. Let's get it. Um, and they rock like that. So I see him sitting down on the American Show Podcast, which I'm sure a lot of you guys have watched. And um, shout out and respects to Gilman and everything that him and Boo are doing over there. Um, I see him, I'm seeing him making moves, man. They continue to make their moves, and, and that's a good thing for the Rasa. Um, anyways, so I trip out and I and I and I'm watching it, and I see that they're drinking on Patron, sipping on some Patron. Or at least Bozo is, right? Um, and I know about sipping on Patron a little bit. You know, the wind blew that way once or twice. And, you know, shot after shot, you start to, you start to become inebriated is what it is, intoxicated, and you start to slur a little bit, and you start to speak from the heart. You know, some things that are, not that you want to keep inside, because ain't no one no punk comes where they're trying to hide nothing. In a menudo style, in a direct fashion, you're going to get straight too, but at the same time, there's some things that don't need to be put, put publicly out there that you, when you get a little loose lips, you know, loose lips in ships, I say. And you start to talk a little bit, and you start to slow your words on, but from the mouth, the heart, from the heart, the mouth speak it, right? Um, because you're off that patron trial. Now, gang gang, this guy uh, started talking about certain issues, and he got to the north south issue. Okay. Unfortunately, that's still an issue. You know, unfortunately, after 50 plus years of yerra, after 50 plus years of warring, 50 plus years of, of back and forth. Um, you know, animosity, battles, won and lost on both sides, bodies, uh, blood spilt onto the concrete from which it cries. Um, there's still that tension. There's always going to be that tension. Now, it's up for people like me, you, gente, people that are just tired of, uh, of the imaginary lines and tired of the, of the drama to cease that. There's enough room on the yardas for everybody, right? Um, but at the same time, you know, we're out here. We're out here. And if you're just a righteous Chicano, brown person, Latino, whatever the case may be, um, it's not up for us to decide or to play the prison politics and decide what exactly they entail, what they got going on. All we can do is be kind and righteous to the next man, right? Regardless of where he's from. I don't care if you're from fucking Los, San Diego, the Inland Empire. You know what I mean? San Bernardino stand up and say, um, I'm going to be cool with you, homes. If you respect me, I'm going to respect you. Respect is a key word. It doesn't matter where you're from. Okay? Um, but some individuals are laced differently. Some have a certain animosity or hate towards the other side. You know, that's how I grew up uh, uh, thinking. The other side. It wasn't just... Khalifas as a whole, it was always the other side. I'm on this side, you're on the other side. The other side has always been a derogatory statement. If you're on the outside looking in, you're not in here and say, this is going down in here, so it's going to get in a minute of my morning here. Out there, I don't know what's happening. Out there, you're with Leroy. So. That's out there. And here's different, right? So the other side of the fence, the other side has always been um, a derogatory statement. 
Just like when you're active, GP, you know, the Vatas on the SOI, they're on the other side. You know what I mean? Oh, I'm on the other side now, right? Um, it's always been just a kind of a derogatory statement in the gang, in the gang underworld, you know, how I grew up. So when you talk about the other side, you're talking about less than, not good enough to be over here, not righteous, right? And so if you're from the South, the North side is going to be the other side and right and vice versa. Okay. Um, there is no other side when it comes to the Rasa. It's just Brown period. We're all the same homes. We just live on the other side of the street. We just live in the other house. We just live in the other barrio. Doesn't mean, you know what I mean? We're on some other guy's shit. We're, we're brown. Tortillas and papas. Chorizo for some, right? Um, and that's just what it is. So anyways, I heard Bozo speaking and, and he was basically said that the reason why this end to hostilities came about is because the North basically had lost the guerra, had lost the war. They were suffering from defeat, so they waved the white flag. Um, this is furthest from the truth. And I would say this if it was spoken uh, and vice versa. If it was spoken by a guy from up north saying this about the South, chad. Um, it's not about that. What it's about, right, is not to be spoken on. What it's about is none of Bozo and my business. Now, I respect the fuck out of Bozo, and I'm going to continue to do that. I have nothing bad to say about that individual other than I think he, you know, he voiced his truth. He voiced his perspective on it. He voiced his opinion, okay? Ain't nothing wrong with that, Holmes. You can't knock the man for feeling the way he feels. You know, you can hate on him all you want or disagree and not like him for one particular reason or another, but at the end of the day, Holmes, if that's his truth, then that's his fucking truth. That's it. Let it be, let it be known, okay? I ain't mad at him. You know, I have no reason to be mad at him. I'm not a North Daniel. I'm not a Randy Holmes. You know what I am? I'm brown and broke. I've told you that for, for so many times. If I didn't have a big pipa, I'd be just fuck. I'd, I'd be done. You know what I mean? Thank God for one thing. You know what I mean? Gracias a Dios. You helped me out at least once. Now, trip out. So he spoke on it. Do I believe that's why the end of house is? Nah. And, and see, we're on the calles. This is at least at the streets, homie. Right? Orale. There's no reason for us to worry about why the anti-hostilities was implemented whether one group or another was faltering or or, or or had no more strive left in them because let me tell you something i did it a lot of time okay and i've met righteous hitters and righteous motherfuckers from every side and it's not necessarily what you think it's not every beat that you go to one group outnumbers the next group now the majority are, are with the south that's just how it is there's more gangs down there there's more uh, uh, it's more congested with barrios. There's more gente. There's more raza right there. It's just the way it is. So that means it's going to breed more gang members. They're going to they're gonna be deeper in, you know, the California Department of Corrections. Uh, but I've been on some yard last where it's vice versa, where the Norteños are the deepest. You know, um, you just never know where they're going to send you, bro. You never know where CDC, where you, your points hit and they send you. You know, one day you could be over here at the homeboys. ba da ba 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 Alright, it's fucking good. We're gonna spread this shit. The next day you could be over there. Fuck. Oh, okay, the sauce. Okay, the sauce. The works, right? You just never know. Okay, it's up to you to be a man to treat people with respect, handle your business, and know what you signed up for. Hey, hey, do what you do. For the most part, man, you don't even gotta sign up for shit. So okay. But I didn't sign up for this. It don't matter, bitch. You're you're on it, right? And that's just what it is. Period. That's the get down. Do I think anybody is winning or losing a war? Chale. You know, when Vatos finally, after 50 years of guerra, finally say, you know what? We're going to do something that benefits us, say, that benefits the brown man, that benefits the black man, that sprinkle them, brother, the woods, that benefits us. You know, um, we're going to set differences to the side, all this animosity to the side, homes. Maybe work hand in hand on some certain situations that could that could possibly be beneficial for our for our you know people. You know, let's end hostility. Something we don't have to be fucking on site all the time. We don't have to fucking feel some type of way about each other. Because at the end of the day, homes, when you go to the oil, when you go to the shoes, when you go to all that, homes, everyone chops it up anyways and talks and treats each other with respect. Why can't why can't that extend to the yardas, right? 
It's on the yard of us anyways like that. The Norteños and the South Side, every yard I've ever been on has been nothing but respect. Hey, so can I borrow that CD, that young Jeezy, the snowman? Bam, yeah. Hey, what do you guys need ice or, or coffee or anything? Hey, you want to need a sopa? Hey, watch out, here's a piece of jabon. I know you smell like I, uh, You know what I mean? There's, it's always, I'm sorry to tell you, for those of you that don't know, who are out there super gangbangers, it's not like that in prison. It's all about respect, Tom's. It's all about the raza looking out for each other, no matter where you're from. Now, you might get to a certain yard, homes where it's on site or, or it's going down, homes, and you cannot function on that yard, and then it is what it is. That's prison politics. But it's not for us to worry about or concern ourselves with out here. See, I left that life a long time ago. I'm not a gang member. So I'm going to stop talking about gang stuff because it's not my business, man. And I'm realizing that now. Okay? Prison is not my business. I've, I've been to prison. So I've been there. I don't need that. I, under, I understand how it feels to be fucking... To wake up in the morning like, fuck, because I want to get out. I know how all that feels, right? It's all the same, north or south. <laughs> you're, you're waking up in a cell. That cell don't know no color lines. It don't give a fuck. So anyways, um, Bozo said what he said. And a lot of people are tripping. They're in an uproar. Damn, hey, he disrespected the north. Did. Well, what do you expect? You know, hey, here's a news flash here. You guys ready? The wind's blowing. I'm about to give it to you. Ready? Shh. Something about the West. All right, listen. It's not the first time. The Vato doesn't like Vato's from up north or has some type of animosity towards them. Okay? And there's, I'm sure there's a lot of Vato's from up north that have the same thing. Now, I'm not here to back his play and, and say, hey, disrespect the north is cool because it ain't never cool, Holmes. It ain't never cool. It ain't never cool to disrespect the Sul as well. But that one individual speaks for himself, Holmes, and not all hinted. Just like I speak for myself. Just like you speak for yourself. We don't speak. We're not in a position, homes, or have ever been in that position to speak for the majority of the gente. Okay? To say that the North has lost, they've lost several battles. The South has lost several battles, homes. You know what I mean? Yerra is not won and lost, homes. Yerra usually is dissipated. You, it doesn't matter if you lose one soldado or ten soldados, homes. One is too many. That one is just as valuable as that 10. Okay? It's not good to lose bodies on either side. And there's been a lot of bodies dropped over a war that not a lot of people in this day and era uh, know about. The history is all over the place. It's spoken 10 different ways and 10 different dialects. So it's hard to get a grasp on the true concept of what the war is all about. So it's hard to continue to have that burning flame to fight a war that really... Uh, 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 never impacted you or, you know, it might have impacted the forefathers or the, or the foundation of the people that, you know, came before you. But at the same time, over the years, homes, it starts to get watered down. It starts to lose its steam. So why not Rasa be brown, homes? Why not come together as a gente uh, to utilize, you know, those yardas to make some verga or to fucking win, homes, and keep our asses out of the oils and the shoes, homes, to which the man wants us back there anyways, homes, so that way he were more monitored. You know, um, do I think the Norteños wa waving the white flag and they're scared? Charlie Holmes, I, <laughs> let me tell you something about a Norteño Holmes. It's a, they're a very proud person. Just like a Sureño, a Southsider Holmes, a brown man, period, is a very proud person. Okay, I myself have been in a situation where I was the only Norteño to hit a yard. So I was scared, I'm not going to lie. I didn't like it. I wasn't happy. Spencer, I'm not being Chitira Holmes. They wasn't not my fucking choice. I wish I had a hundred homeboys rolled up with me. But hey, being the minority group, being the one group fucking that doesn't have a lot of people, you already know what to expect. That's why it's called the struggle, Holmes. You know there's going to be a struggle somewhere along the lines. You know you're going to get put in a holding tank in R&R &R with, the, with the other side, Holmes, with the enemy guys. You're going to have to get off or handle your business or just hope and pray, Holmes, that it's a respect thing. You know, and that's just the way it is. If you think a Norteño, Holmes, fears a yarda full of adversary, he might not be happy with it, Holmes, but he's going to take flight. He's going to do what he does. Now, not in all cases. There's fucking poop butts from every different group, bro. But there's motherfuckers the majority ain't. So it's not about who wins and who loses and all that. None of that matters, Holmes. It's all about how the brown man can prosper and move on and open up doors for each other to win. You know, that's just like this YouTube stuff. I wanted, I wanted to express this, Hente, because I'm getting tired of it. Right? Uh, and maybe you guys have caught on. A lot of people are like, Norteño channels, Sureño channels. 
There are no fucking Norteño or Sureño channels on YouTube. Are you kidding me? First of all, the Vatos are not going to indulge in the frivolous activities that are that are participated on right here on YouTube. I'm just being righteous with you. I'm just being honest. Ask them. They'll tell you. Um, you know, when they're involved in that life, homes, they have no time for this life, for the YouTube, right? Um, there are no Norteño and Sureño channels. There's a couple of Vatos that live up north that have channels. There's a couple of Vatos that live down south that have channels. I'm not here representing the North. So my, I don't got a North Daniel channel. I'm here representing the brown people. Everybody. North, South, East, West, Green, Yellow, Black, Blue. What's better than for the Yellow? No, I'm out of you. Right? But you know what I'm saying? Um, I'm here uh, representing myself as a person and, and the spills that I got to put out there. I'm not here to gangbang. I'm not here to speak on that. You know? And there's a lot of people from down South that have channels that are not doing that either. You know? Uh, Tony A's not a Southern channel. He's a fucking music channel. He interviews up and coming talent and music. You know, I've said I've talked to that individual. I've shook his vice eyes. Good people. I've took plicas with them. Good gente. You know, he might have, he might be from Wilmas or from the Harbor area, from down south, homes, but he's not fucking, you know, that's not, he's not politicking and, and he's not involved in that. That's not his thing. So does that make him a surrender channel? If I move to LA, homes, tomorrow and I start podcasting from down there, is that a surrender channel now? I get tired of that, bro. People trying to put labels on it. People trying to make division, trying to cause dissension, trying to continue that narrative, bro. It's not about that anymore, you know? And those that are in the trenches, homes, those that are striving behind them walls and behind them bars and behind the fucking fences, homes, you know, let them do their thing, bro. They ain't fucking with you, don't fuck with them. That's why I'm done speaking on their fucking shit, bro. I'm, the, I'm not part of that, home, so I shouldn't talk about it. Okay, I've realized that now. Okay, as far as Bozo and what he had to say, that's that man's opinion. Do I think he's right or wrong? I think he's horribly wrong, right? But I don't fucking hate him for it. I could care less one way or the other. That's one guy saying one thing. You know, a very intelligent individual that I think had too much to drink. I think as he went back, and I think Gil, hey, righteously respects Gil. Gil Cotter was like, oh, shit. Oh, shit. You don't open up a can of fucking worms this time. Gil himself does business directly with the Vata from up north. It doesn't mean he's a Norteño. It doesn't mean, you know what I mean? They do respect because it's about the greenery, homes. You know, it's about uh, uh, that color that makes the world go round. Has nothing to do with gang members or gang banging or none of that. It has to do with business. Nothing personal. And I think Bozo's the type of individual, man. You know, he's a, he's a representative of the South in his own right. You know, his music, the way he portrays himself, the image, uh, uh, the love he has for the raza. Um, there's no denying it. I can't take that back. He's very influential. But when you have a platform and you, and you have that much of a heavy influence, um, you have to watch what you say because people misconstrue it. They take it. They run with it. And they're like, oh, look, he disrespected the North. Um, are you kidding me? It's not the first time or the last probably. You know? Um, but if it was said in a different capacity, if a North Daniel would say that, then, you know, Baltus would be mad too. Hey, you can never make everybody happy, Holmes. There's never, everyone's never going to be happy. That's just part of life. The best thing to do in life, man, is to move on. Continue to do the best you can for yourself, your familia, and your people. And understand that, Holmes, there's nobody, and I mean nobody when it comes to the gang lifestyle, Holmes, especially a brown man bowing down on either side, north or south. I've been on the yard with, pl yard with plenty of them, I'm telling you. More focus is no joke. Body for body. People ain't playing. Why you think Vatos are like, man, I'm glad this shit's cool. I thought I'd rather play Hamon Nita Sofita because fuck you. They want that uh, main ass crush. You see what I am? So I can't want to pull this shit out of school. I'm like, Whoosh. it just kept going. It smelled like stream mirror around this moment. They don't want no problems. Sometimes everybody just wants to chill, man. And as far as fucking, oh, people are waving white flags and that, let me tell you, homes, being a Norteño, at one point in time, I'll tell you, homes, the Norteños will never. And I repeat, ever wave the white flag. The South, as well, will never wave the white flag. So they don't even know what a white flag looks like. They only know what blue and red banners look like. Period. Plain and simple. Anyways, that's neither here nor there, Holmes. Can we all just get it on with you? I'm trying. You know what I mean? I'm trying. And let's stop speaking on prison politics and gang politics. It's not our fucking business, Holmes. Leave their shit alone. Let the ones that are struggling and striving right now go through that, man. You know, they don't want us involved, Holmes. Keep our asses up out of it.
Anyways, with that being said, hope that you move with a purpose. Hope that you get everything that you want coming to you. Remember, at the end of the day, it's all about minding yours before your own reminds you. And doing your thing, man, for your familia. If you like this, please hit that like and subscribe. If not, thumbs down. Heavy's going to be the head that wears his crown. I'm going to continue to struggle and strive for what I truly believe in. And that's the coming together of all people. As far as Bozo goes, I respect his get down. At the same time, I just don't agree with it. Bang, bang. The gun. There's my two cents.